Hi, um, I just got done watching the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 trailer. I'm scared. You play as a little child in his bedroom, hiding and trying to flicker away at the frickin' nightmare creatures. And there's plushy versions. There's a tiny spring trap, tiny nightmare Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. And then there's Nightmare Foxy, Bonnie, Chica, and Freddy. And I'm guessing it's spring, Nightmare Spring Trap. Why is there a handprint? At I I I the, the help, I didn't do that. I'm serious. I just noticed that. There's a handprint there. I don't know. It probably looks. Small is probably my baby cousin who's here. Anyway, that scared me. <laughs> I saw the trailer. I'm officially spooked. <laughs> I'm spooked solid. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do that. Um, but yeah, I also have a little theory of mine. I saw in the trailer you were playing as a little child, as I've said three times, and you're trying to hide from these nightmare freaks. And has anyone noticed that Foxy got more scary through all three games? I think it was just a kid's dream. And Foxy, Bonnie, Chica, Springtrap came out of nowhere. <laughs> Frickin' Golden Freddy, the purple guy, the Six children, all that stuff, was just a kid's dream. Well, nightmare, I should say. And that's where the nightmare freaks came from. And, <clears throat> Spike, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you were wrong about the nightmare uh, spring, but, or, spring mare, as I called it. No, that sounds like a My Little Pony version of spring trap. There's a footprint too. What the fuck? <laughs> it was definitely my movie because. Uh, it's a plushy spring trap. A little creepy. But also a little cute. <laughs> um, I tend to find plushies not that scary. Except for the ones that are jittery on the bed on the trailer. If you haven't seen the trailer, watch it. Today, I literally just got done watching a video on Smike on the teaser for right before the trailer came out. And I'm like, a tiny spring trap. That's a plushy spring trap. And then, next thing I know, I see the trailer and I'm like, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. This jump scare is actually similar to the first game, though, so, but which is kind of cool. But Gip is given a little more of a slow beginning, like the third game. It was like, <laughs> and it was much quicker, I think. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. Yeah, I... I have no words for my reaction, but yeah. Yeah. A little spooked. When I saw the third game trailer, I'm like, what the fuck? When I saw the second game trailer, I'm like, eh. The first, I, and when I saw the first game trailer, I'm like, well, they got a little changed up, didn't they? I love how they turn from Golden Freddy from a Easter egg to one of the dead children. Apparently, he used Spring Trap and not Golden Freddy to kill them. Yeah, Golden Freddy was kept in the back room of the game, first game. Apparently, there's a hidden room. I my theory is that the cat. The broken camera in the kitchen is where Springtrap is. And the puppet, too. Which is why it would make sense, because Freddy goes in there and plays his song. 
I thought it was just there to spook the crap out of you, but it makes sense. Again, that's a game theorist theory, though. Still makes sense to me, though. But yeah, this little theory I just made up because I literally just got watched, done watching the trailer. I'm Spook Solid, and I'll see you all later. Oh, goodbye.